Mr. Ruffles here. Do you remember the Valentine's Day update for Black Ops 3 last year? And if you don't, do you remember March Remastered? And if you don't, surely you remember Eight Days of the Undead, even though it was pretty meh. And if you don't remember that, I very much doubt you're gonna remember the Days of the Undead thing that they tried to tag on afterwards. Regardless, if you remember or not any of those, it's clear to see that these are the beginnings of seasonal events for Call of Duty becoming the norm. They started it last year, as far as I'm aware at least, and slowly but surely have been making it a more regular occurrence. And the most recent of those is Call of Duty Days of Summer, which is quite possibly the worst possible name they could have picked. It sounds so weird, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go play some games for COD Days of Summer, I don't know. Anyway. It's from June 27th to August 1st, and the reason you should care is as follows. There's not only stuff happening for IW, and not only stuff happening for Modern Warfare Remastered, but there's also stuff in there for Black Ops 3. And that's what makes me so curious about all of this, okay? For Infinite Warfare, they're doing things like releasing some free supply drops, there's double XP, double weapon XP, double crypto keys, there's uh, the free-to-play map Tourista, and a bunch of other stuff, and that's this week only. There's uh, four more weeks of the damn thing that they're going to be releasing, or rather announcing, on July 4th, 11th, etc., so more to come. In the Modern Warfare Remastered, there's things like Beach Bog Challenges, there's going to be the Beach Coma edition of Prop Hunt as well, that's going to be really cool. In fact, that's even got double XP on it. So they're doing a bunch of different things for those two games. But so far, they haven't announced anything for Black Ops 3. They say check back on things like July 25th, June 30th, July 4th, all those sorts of things to get an idea of when each week is going to actually get an update. But for the first week, June 30th, which is actually midway through the week of Days of Summer, they've said nothing so far. And that's what this video is going to be about, okay? If Modern Warfare Remastered is getting Prop Hunt and Beach Bog, okay? And if IW is getting Tourista and a bunch of double XPs there and free supply drops, etc. What are we going to see in Black Ops 3? And will we, please say yes, please say yes, will we see anything at all beyond double XP for zombies? It's worth considering the following, okay? If Treyarch keep making updates for Black Ops 3, not quite to the extent of Chronicles, but if they release stuff for Black Ops 3 like a free multiplayer map for a limited time or a prop hunt or those sorts of things, they're going to be pushing into the development time for their next game. Simple fact, they have a finite amount of time to make their next title, Black Ops 4 or whatever it's going to be called, and I don't think it's actually going to be called Black Ops 4, but that's besides the point. That finite time is getting eaten into by them doing things like making Chronicles and doing a bunch of other updates and still supporting Black Ops 3, etc. So, surely, if they're going to be releasing anything significant in this time, it's got to be something that kind of fits in with their timeline for the way they want to be working on the next title. And also, I mean, I'm just curious, like, what's it gonna be? I think that it's a surprise alone that they're bothering to include Black Ops 3 in this, in my opinion. I guess it makes sense, because Chronicles has been selling like crazy, no doubt, and just generally, I feel like there's a lot more people playing Black Ops 3 than IW right now, so I am curious. What do you think is going to be in here, beyond things like double XP, beyond things like free supply drops or whatever in the multiplayer? Will there be any zombies content? And if so, what? That's the question I'm posing for you guys right now. Let me know in the comment section down below. Drop a comment down there, I'll read it. I might give it a little love, give it a little pin, something like that. But beyond that, I'll be updating you guys on June 30th when they actually make an announcement of what is going to be coming and in the subsequent weeks, in case there's any zombie stuff in there. I mean, what if we got like, I don't know, like a summer kind of tropical island version of Zetsubo? What if we got something that kind of magical? Obviously that would take a really rather big graphics overhaul, but they've done it for Bog, so that would be super cool to see. I really want to see more seasonal events for COD, like Halloween Zetsubo with pumpkins everywhere instead of those orange bulbs, or... Christmas shadows with like the big giant worm in like a Santa hat like there's so much potential for that sort of thing And I'm sure it's something that Treyarch 
are interested in doing internally, but whether or not we'll see it in this particular update is subject to debate right now. Anyway, I wanted to gauge your interest on this, guys, and just talk a little bit about the fact that it's happening, but we don't know what is happening. It's just it is happening right now. So yeah, if you enjoyed the vid, drop a like on it, and I'll see you guys next time, and in the comments section down below. Bye-bye.